Hey Aquarius, how are you doing? This is a reading for Aquarius for the week of October the 7th through the 13th, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Also, Aquarius, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. I just got really woozy. Like, my equilibrium was off. So you could feel a little bit under the weather or lightheaded. So needing more oxygen. So getting your blood pumping here. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Aquarians? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Ace of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. What's coming towards you? The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Typical court card for King of Swords is Aquarius. What you are focused on is the Seven of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and your blocked and challenged position is the Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and your outcome is the Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Aquarius, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, new opportunity, new possibility. It could be coming in and catching you off guard or by surprise. You might be very hesitant to go forward because you want the clarity and truth and the facts. Or there could be some kind of second opinion. And what you resist persists. So this could be like a new job, new house, new commitment. There's a windfall coming in. It's tangible. It's something you can taste, touch, and feel and get your hands on it. There's something about doing something singular or solo. This could also be entrepreneur or placing healthy boundaries with people who are defensive or defiant or hard to work with. This is deflect, deflect, deflect. Like somebody keeps deflecting something here. Or maybe you are. But here, in your blocked and challenged position, is about planning and strategizing, getting on a plane, train, or automobile, or there's distance. Or you want to distance yourself from this type of individual. We'll see what this is. What is this Ace of Pentacles? This is a big old seed for you to plant. It's about nurturing it, putting it in good soil. That can also be a contract. Dealing with a judge, a lawyer, a doctor... Um, going back to, you know, feeling lightheaded, um, second opinion, or making some kind of decision here. What is this? And the six of pentacles. Wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Six of pentacles is about reciprocity, sharing and caring. There's a windfall coming in. You could also be getting some kind of loan or paying down debt. And this is putting a big old smile on your face. This could be receiving generously and giving like selflessly. It's also donations. Donating your time, your money, your energy into whatever this Ace of Pentacles is. Or it's a great opportunity. It's stable. It's solid. Six of Cups. Six of Cups says nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times were easy, or taking a lighter approach to life. This is letting your inner child out to play and not taking things so seriously or personally. So if you're hesitant on some kind of unexpected change or a great opportunity being given to you here or presented to you, because the Three of Wands is like blossoming and thriving. Or you have high expectations of how this person should think, act, and feel. Or somebody has high expectations about you. So again, um, soften yourself. Because the King of Swords could be like taking things a little bit personally or seriously. And 
if you're dealing with somebody who is defensive or resisting to change, or this could also be you, um, you want to blossom and thrive. So don't block, don't block your forward movement here. Let's see what this King of Swords is. Yeah, letting your inner child out to play. Let loose a little bit. This could also be revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind and you're hesitant to go forward with it. But something's coming in and catching you off guard or by surprise. And you go into a little bit of a defensive mode or a need for you to draw a line in the sand. Advocating. You could also be advocating for someone or a second opinion here. Let's see what this is. And the Knight of Cups. Well, that's a beautiful energy. And the Knight of Cups is somebody who's charming, charismatic, wants to take you on a date, sweep you off your feet. That can also be just you in pursuit of joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. Or doing something creative, something that is heartfelt. It feels good to you. Also, people don't understand you or they misread you. So you might be a little bit cold or standoffish, but really you're soft inside. Let's see what this Seven of Wands is. Drawing a line in the sand and needing to reprioritize things here or reprioritize you. One or two things here are a priority and everything else is an obligation. So if anybody is coming at you and demanding you to do something, because it could be delaying your own progress here in life. The hair font. This could be structure. Institutions. Going back to school. Studying. Learned lessons. Teacher-student learning. Some of you, you are an extremely great teacher. Going back to school. This could also be joining a group, club, organization. Somewhere where you feel seen, heard, belonged, valued. And you're a little bit hesitant to go forth with it, possibly. Or you're dealing with somebody who is very stubborn, set in their ways. Um, resisting to change. You can't change a person, but what you can change is your focus and your direction. So if you have like a super righteous boss, um, there's opportunities. Let's see what this uh, Seven of Wands is. Yeah, it's a need for you to play the offense-defense game with this person. And the Nine of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Wow. So boundaries, 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 and boundaries are super duper important right now. And this is about you having boundaries for yourself. So let's just say you go to work and then you come home and then you have discipline for yourself and be like, now I'm going to start meal prepping or do something nice for myself. Nine of Pentacles is also self-sufficient, self-reliable. You know your worth, you know your value internally, externally, you look freaking fabulous. And if you're deflecting that or brushing it off when somebody gives you a compliment, it's learning how to take a compliment. This is really beautiful energy. This could also be two single individuals. Or doing something entrepreneur. Something about the mundane. Like some kind of routine. There's like an opportunity that's coming in. And it's outside of your norm. Like it's not your usual routine. So you're going to be hesitant to try it. Try it out. You're giving it a think. You're giving it a good think here. You're scratching. You know, you're looking at, you got your lip. Maybe you're getting your lips done. Some lip filler there for you, Aquarius. <laughs> or somebody who sees you has a nice lip. In your block to challenge position is this three of wands. And three of wands is expansion or having some kind of expectation or you have high expectation this could also be something about perfectionism and again um it might have to go this way so again um don't take things seriously or personally or even take yourself personally 
There also could be distance with you and another person and that it could be a problem. Let's see what this three of wands is. Or there's something about blossoming and thriving. Something tells me that you've been doing something alone for too long. So collaboration would really benefit you. Or you've been mundane, like too routine. Something's been too routine and it's kind of like you're hesitant to try something new. Some of you are being caught off guard or by surprise by somebody who is has their sh shish all together. And this person is um, makes their own money. So do you. And you'd be caught off guard or by surprise and then kind of deflecting or um, don't brush this person off yet. And the king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the king of wands is somebody very charming, charismatic, brave, bold, assertive. Could also be somebody who is a manager, a supervisor. Or it's a need for you to take action. So here, Aquarius, um, if you want to collaborate or network, it's a need for you to expand here. So nobody's coming to save you. There's something about this person's confidence. I would just watch this individual because this person um, could be quite boastful or a charmer. You might see through this person. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is indulgence. But it speaks of emotionally independent. Creating your own emotional happiness. This is also joy, pleasure, fun, happiness. Indulging in good people. Indulging in good things. I would also just watch this because this is also somebody who is a love bomber. Somebody who is smug, self-centered, self-righteous. Feels entitled to your energy. So again, here, boundaries and boundaries and boundaries. You could also deal with somebody who is a little bit boozy. Oh, that's maybe why I felt, you know, a little bit wobbly. Could be dealing with a, a drinker or something here. I'm not going to say, oh, you know, you're a boozer here, Aquarius. But, you know, um, I felt like my equilibrium was off. So, like, I felt a little bit um, back and forth. Nine of Pentacles in your outcome. Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. It speaks of, again, knowing your worth, knowing your value internally, externally, you look freaking fabulous. Also, somebody doesn't feel like they can please you. And maybe that they have this expectation, but I feel like they might be reading you wrong. Could be a fire sign. Um, an Aries Leo Sag, that's in your blocked and challenged position. And the three of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is soft, kind, caring, devoted. But pay attention to your intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut feelings. And the three of wands and the nine of pentacles. This is definitely expansion and growth. This is also your ships coming in. Or a need for you to get on a ship, plane, train, automobile. Same thing with this person. And it could catch you off guard or by surprise of how independent this person is or that you guys are both extremely independent. But how can you bridge the gap? Because this could be like passion and um, creativity, enthusiasm. Or you, your mojo burnt out for a person at a distance. Yeah, this could be like doing something singular or solo. 
and not wanting to invest in this person, but you have a Knight of Cups around you or a water sign. That feels good to you. And you could also be like caught off guard or by surprise um, of somebody's behavior. So again, this fire sign where they deflect things. When you have a conversation, it's like, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. And you're like, huh. So what is this person hiding? I feel like this person might have deep-rooted insecurities or like low self-esteem. Cherishing self. I accept and love myself. Cherishing self. I accept and love myself. Yeah, and some of you are being really hard on yourself here. And I feel like it's stemming from perfectionism. But perfectionism is actually keeping you stuck from blossoming and thriving. If you know what I mean. But this is really beautiful. All this is beautiful energy. It's pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. So a lot of stability, a lot of abundance, prosperity, and um, something about boundaries or a, mund a mundane way of doing something is going to lead you to boredom. So there is a need for you to make some kind of plans or like um, your ship's coming in. And it's somebody who is just as independent as you or there's financial improvement here. Being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe. So ship. So travel. Or go with the flow. Because you might be very hesitant or caught off guard here. Or you could be advocating and standing up for a cause. Standing up to adversity. And standing up to adversity makes you very mentally resilient so nothing really phases you in life but I feel like this is the routine of you of what you're doing is boring you need to shake it up a little bit but you're hesitant or a little bit defiant or defensive when it comes to that I don't want to change my routine I know but you want to blossom and thrive here so this could be like getting some kind of loan or somebody's paying you back money or there's something about reaping what you have sown. Hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel from messages from spirit. So you can actually be highly intuitive. You're passed on loved ones, your angels, your guides. You could be seeing, you know, coins, feathers, animals of a sign that you are protected on your path and rising above i see only beauty and grace i accept i accept and love myself yeah some of you um aren't feeling sexy but i'm telling you to get your sexy on show off a little bit Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. And it's going to come in and catch you off guard or by surprise. And you're going to be like, oh, no, no, yeah. Don't brush it off. Give it a good think. Flute. Disappointment in a friend or a lover. This is this person at a distance. Or it could be, like I said, a manager, boss, something like that as well. They're set and fixed in their ways. This person is stubborn. Or you try to have a conversation with this person and they constantly deflect, deflect, deflect. Okay, well, there's something better here. wheel indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly i feel like it says king of wands to be honest 
it's somebody who might be at a distance or it could be like a you in a business partner you have a better opportunity here but you're kind of hesitant to do something um solo for now could also be like um a boastful type of an arrogant cocky individual but they just have like deep rooted insecurities so uh they look like they're very charming and carry this charisma about them but they don't they don't have it and jug light-hearted carefree times yeah lighten up don't take anything seriously or personally if anybody falls away from your life see it as a blessing in disguise learn the lesson move on lion time to act throne position of authority so again getting some kind of raise and you've been working hard for this it's like you stuck to some kind of like discipline routine and it's like paying off for you or this could be like forming a new routine this can also uh a move tanker celebration fun and enjoyment and then you have kangaroo unsettled times need a plan ahead and money path a path with money is waiting for you to find and that path with money is waiting for you to find this is about you exploring and nine of pentacles is such a beautiful energy but it could be a little bit routine and mundane and you're bored so if you're bored in your life go out do something and you're going to come across or hand out your feelers resume and pursue something that you love that brings you happiness and here um there's some kind of deflect or caught off guard or by surprise about some kind of an investment here or this person wants to be single stop trying to pursue this person do something else because you're going to come across somebody else who does want to invest in you leave me a comment down below let me know how this resonates with you like share subscribe and aquarius if you want to book a private reading with me you can do so in the description box below click on the link it will take you to the website and you can check out the options there take care my friends Bye bye